in this video we're going to find out the ratio by which a line is going to divide a line segment joining the two points uh, let me read the question determine the ratio in which the line segment 3x plus y minus 9 divides the line segment joining the points 1 3 2 7 so the question is you know saying something like this suppose we have a point here a whose coordinate is 1 3 and we have another point suppose B which has coordinate 2 7 and now let me join this line and now it is a segment so now this line segment AB has been actually divided by another line say this is our line it's not straight this is my line suppose which is 3x plus y minus 9 equals to 0 now this line is intersecting it right at point this let me say point P whose coordinate is let me suppose x bar y bar so this x bar y bar this P point is intersecting the line AB right into the two pieces one piece is AP and another piece is PB so we have the two piece you know so uh, we need to find out actually the ratio you know the ratio in which this AP and PB are right or you can say how many person we have in AP and how many person we have in PB we need to find out that so uh, again you know you can choose any ratio you can choose something like if you want to do faster then you can you can use like K ratio 1 or sometimes we had used as a lambda ratio 1 whatever you choose lambda K M and O P A B C D whatever you choose that's just a constant that you need to find out it's like a ratio or as usual the best process M1 ratio M2 right if you use this this is the main base you know actually the base and uh, in, in, in section formula we use this m1 ratio m2 this is the main base formula you know and by this method you can do a you can solve this easily what if we use feel easy I'll be doing both k ratio 1 also and m1 ratio m2 also uh, this will be a little bit maybe a little bit lengthy right this k ratio 1 will be a little bit shorter I feel right faster I feel so I'll be doing this uh, by k ratio 1 first and then I'll be doing by the m1 ratio m2 what if you feel easy uh, doing that way both are the same actually you know uh, k ratio 1 it's a kind of modified version of the section formula right because there is only one variable k and here it will be two variables so it may make you a little bit uh, uh, a hick to your brain anyways let's go now uh, I suppose that the point P is uh, dividing this 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 a B line segment in the ratio k 1 okay or you can say the line is cutting it into the k ratio 1 so uh, for the x bar and y bar our section formula is now when k is the ratio it will be you know uh, k times x2 plus x1 divided by k plus 1 and again k times y2 plus y1 divided by k plus 1 all right uh, I think you know this formula if you're not knowing this formula then I'm gonna explain it here it is actually uh, you know section formula only it is it is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 over m1 plus m2 and it's 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 right similarly m1 y2 plus plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 here you know actually uh, if we had imagined something like uh, k as m1 and 1 as a m2 then we will have this kind of formula so if you replace this m1 by k and this m2 by 1 what happens let's see we all are going to replace by this k and 1 so this is k and this is 1 this is k and this is 1 we're just going to replace so what you'll get you'll get exactly this see k times x2 kx2 plus x1 right uh, let me do here you'll get uh, well you understand it kx2 you know kx2 and 1 times x1 x1 and again ky2 ky2 this is ky2 plus y1 you know 1 times y1 and then it is m1 plus m2 so k plus 1 k plus 1 all right so now let's do further so x bar y bar so x bar y bar <coughs> so now k times x2 now uh, which one will be x2 y2 and which one will be x1 y1 always questions comes there then every time I used to say where this k or m1 comes closer that part will be x1 y1 
all right now if you see here in this case here is m1 and here is k so the nearest point for this m1 or k this part like this part the nearest one is you know the nearest one is a part so this a part will be always x1 and y1 so if this is x1 and y1 this will be treated as x2 and y2 okay so now k times x2 so x2 is my here now 2 this 2 is my x2 so 2 and then x1 x1 is here my y1 and then I will get k plus 1 and now k y2 so k and y2 is here my 7 so it is 7 plus y1 so y1 is here my 3 all right divided by k plus 1 let me arrange it properly my x bar and y bar is going to be now 2k plus 1 divided by k plus 1 and 7k 7k plus 3 divided by k plus 1 so I got my x bar y bar I got my x bar y bar and do you know friend this my x bar y bar this p point is actually passing through the line 3x plus y this this p point lies in this line in this line right so if I'm going to replace this x as a x bar and y as a y bar then it should satisfy it right this is the rule so so what I'm going to do since x bar and y bar passes through passes through the line 3x plus y minus 9 equals to 0 therefore what I can do now uh, I can do uh, 3x bar plus y bar minus 9 equals to 0 so let me put the value of x bar and y bar right so 3 what is my x bar here I have got x bar as a 2k plus 1 over k plus 1 so 2k plus 1 over k plus 1 and then plus and now I have y bar so now y bar is equals to in the yellow color 7k plus 3 right 7k plus 3 divided by k plus 1 and minus this 9 right so equals 0 it is everybody had k plus 1 k plus 1 so it is better to multiply by the k plus 1 and divide by the k plus 1 for the easy calculation all right now let's go further you'll get now 3 times 2 right let's multiply this 3 times 2 you'll get 6k plus 3 and then 7k plus 3 7k plus 3 and then minus 9k minus 9 whole divided by k plus 1 equals to 0 now this k plus 1 will multiply this 0 so you'll get 0 all right so this whole quantity now see how much we're going to have now see this is 6k plus 7k 13k minus 9k that is 4k and this is 3k sorry 3 and 3 that is 6 and 6 plus 6 minus 9 you'll get minus 3 equals to 0 so what I can say that 4k is equals to 3 and k will be 3 over 4 and if nothing is there there is 1 all right so it means yes means we got the k ratio 1 equals to 3 ratio 4 hey we got the answer k ratio 1 we got the 3 ratio 4 so the question was demanding uh, ask the ratio right by which ratio they were asking and we got the ratio this is uh, this this m1 ratio is actually how much well it's coming dirty this m1 ratio we got 3 and we got m2 ratio 4 though I made a little bit wrong figure it should be here and there right well so 3 ratio 4 this line is uh, dividing this whole uh, segment AB all right now if you want to do by the m1 ratio m2 no problem right this is this will be same and here you'll get right if you if you solve it like k will be replaced by again m1 and uh, here here is one more one because x1 value is here one right so k times one it was one so this one will be replaced by one so uh, m2 so you'll get here like uh, directly I'm going to write if you put the value of uh, in the place of k k and one if you put the m1 m2 you'll get something like this m1 2m1 plus m2 divided by m1 plus 
m2 and here you'll get again 7 m1 plus 3 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 right now you got this point all right and now just again in the place of x bar and y bar you're going to put this this value and this value all right so what you'll get here three times this 2m1 plus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 all right and then plus y we have so y is this 7m1 plus 3m2 divided by m1 plus m2 minus 9 we have minus 9 we have so minus 9 equals to 0 and since everybody had m1 m1 so um, m1 plus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 i'm doing just for the easiness of calculation i'm doing this all right from my side i have given so 3 times 2 you'll get 6 m1 and 3 times 2 uh, m2 you'll get 3 m2 and again 7 m1 7 m1 and again 3 m1 3 m2 sorry and minus 9 m1 minus 9 m1 minus 9 m2 equals to 0 now let's add and calculate all them 6 m1 7 m1 13 m1 minus 9 m1 you'll get 4 m1 right now 3 m2 3 m2 6 m2 minus 9 m2 that is minus 3 m2 equals to 0 and you'll get what 4 m1 equals to 3 m2 so you'll get m1 over m2 as a 3 over 4 that is that is that is that is what we get yes m1 ratio m2 equals to 3 ratio 4 so anyhow you do you'll get the same 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 answer so uh, for those students you know uh, who feels like if, if you are like doing by the multiple method if your teacher is doing multiple methods and solving the same questions and you may get the confused so for those students i'm just telling you every time every time keep inside in your brain okay whenever you're doing the coordinate problem related to the section formula then for you guys you know you always use this m1 ratio m2 formula always means use section formula this the section formula you, you don't think never hey i need to use this k ratio one lambda ratio one never confuse on these things always use this standard uh section formula sometimes it may be a little bit lengthy but every time every time this will work never you need to get confused on this k ratio one lambda ratio one any shortcuts don't put any hake on your brain okay the simplest method always use m uh, m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 right and m1 y2 plus m2 y1 over m1 plus m2 this method always you use that's awesome you know never you'll get confused and you know use always one method that becomes you know a kind of uh, a kind of you know good feelings it gives in my mind because never you need to think uh, other other formulas and never you need to remind many more formulas uh, here you know you, you need to remind this one also this one also i mean it get confused you know so always use only one formula comfortable like we did at the last so but some people feel hey I, if i can understand then why should not and yeah if you're understanding if you're smart enough to do this then please do that that's that's not the problem but i'm telling for those who like who don't want to uh, do more things like i mean uh, who don't want to stress more on maths for those people okay so we'll be doing more couple of more problems of this section formula and uh, and that will definitely give you some good idea to solve the problems i hope you understand this problem you enjoy the video we'll be meeting in the next video catch you there bye bye